Hello everyone and welcome back to the gold making series. A while ago I made like a series of mining and jewel crafting videos and people were crying out in agony saying why can't you do something for other professions as well. I am answering that as well. In this episode it shall be other professions. Namely, I don't know why I'm opening my mailbox but it will be tailoring. I have no idea why I'm opening my mailbox. It just felt like a natural thing to do. So we're going to open up the tailoring tab and the main thing I want to talk about today is this thing right here. The nether weave bag. Why the nether weave bag, you might ask? Well, first off, if you aren't making these and you have tailoring, you should be making these. Odds are, you may check the prices on your server of nether weave. Remember that it takes like five nether weave into a bolt and that's four bolts of nether weave per bag and rune thread you just get straight from the vendor. But generally, you can make a profit on these. Same thing applies as always, though, guys. Remember, don't just go and buy six million nether weave cloth and then just churning out tons of bags and dumping them on the auction house because you're just going to kill your profits. Just don't do that. Be smart about it. Maybe like four bags. They slowly sell. We post some more ones. Just kind of chilled. And what I really wanted to talk about is, yes, nether weave bags are fantastic for gold making. If you have tailoring, check on your server, because odds are you can make a ton of cash out of them. What I really wanted to talk about was we're kind of preparing for Warlords of Draenor, and generally I find that this happens every time there's a new expansion coming out. Everyone who ever talks about gold making is saying, okay, go get nether weave bags, go make nether weave bags. Why are they saying this? They're saying it because when a new expansion hits, you usually get an influx of new players because they're hearing about all of this hype with the new expansion. Or you get old players that are coming back now to kind of try out the expansion. Or you get existing players who are like, well, I've just played a druid for the whole of the last expansion. I feel like leveling a warlock. So then they level. And the main thing is all of these people leveling means they're going to need bags. So why the netherweave bag? Because generally that's the bag where people go for. A, because it's probably one of the cheapest, best kind of money to bag slots ratio out there. So, yeah, they pretty much just go for the netherweave bag. Higher end bags, you can look at those as well, and probably will in future episodes. But for now, I really wanted to talk about the netherweave bag. So what you want to be doing is just while this is all going on, you're going to be going over to the auction house, not just going absolutely crazy. You know, you don't want to buy it all too much, but you see generally when you're buying things over time, you can actually get them for a lot cheaper because when you're buying things for a lot, obviously you have to go past the people that have it for the lowest price and then you kind of drive the price up and up and up and up and up. So what you really want to do is just be checking the auction house regularly. Oh, some nice cheap nether weave cloth. Let's grab that up. So let's go and have a look at nether weave and go and grab some nether weave cloth. So you see a whole bunch of nether weave cloth over here. So we're not going to buy too much. I mean, just a tiny bit. And what we're really going to be doing is there's probably a long time before Warlords of Draenor. So if you just slowly buy out this nether weave cloth, then just before Warlords of Draenor hits, you can craft out a ton of bags and be posting those like crazy when Warlords of Draenor is out. While you're leveling your tunes, you just have your bank alt going, nether weave bags! Netherweave bags, more netherweave bags. I know you wanted netherweave bags, so here they go. Have some netherweave bags. And basically, you'll be getting the nice cheap cloth, which will be increasing your profits when you're just selling them all like crazy. What you don't want to be doing, like I said, is buying it all up, all of that cloth, and then just churning out tons of the bags. You'll end up with a lot of cloth. Trust me, you're going to have quite a lot of cloth if you just buy some of the little bits of it. And I'm also going to show you some netherweave farming spots in the future as well, so that if you don't want to be buying from the auction house, uh, maybe you feel it's a bit risky, or you don't really have the gold, or you just don't really want to, then I will show you some farming spots so that you can get lots and lots of netherweave cloth nice and quickly to make some awesome netherweave bags. Uh, you can also make imbued netherweave bags if you want to, but remember to check the prices on your server. So just kind of keep in mind... I mean, for some of you who don't know how to price it, maybe you just don't really think about it too much, you go over to, let's see if we can find bags, we've got netherweave bag over there. Okay, so it takes four bolts of netherweave, one rune thread again, which means you're talking about 20 netherweave cloth needed. So you look up how much does that cost, and basically anything that you can sell the netherweave bag for above the cost of a stack of netherweave is pretty much your profit, right? And imbued netherweave bag, they cost... In 
spewed bolts of nether weaves. So that's when it starts getting quite expensive to make, to be honest. And it may or may not be worth it. Check the prices of mats before you start trying to make these. And I would say check all of the mats, because you don't want to go and be like, oh yeah, okay, well, I can make imbued nether weave really, really nicely. So you can go and get a ton of that, and you go and craft that, and then you go and check out the auction house and find that there's either no netherweb spider silk, or it's up there for like 200 gold a pop or something ridiculous. So just be a bit careful, check all of the prices before you start buying things, factor it in, calculate it out, if it's profit worthy, go and make it, but definitely make netherweave bags, those are almost always profitable. And like I said, I'll be making some, um, some gold farming spots for getting netherweave cloth, which should be quite fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short little video just talking about the netherweave bags. Go and make them if you have a tailor. They are awesome. Thanks for watching, and cheerio.